Hi, and welcome to CTEC. I'm Osa Johansson, and in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use your CS3 Portable Adaptive Boost battery charger and maintainer. But before we start, I'd like to say a big thank you for buying CTEC. Okay, let's use the CS3. The LEDs around the on button will show you how much charge you have in the internal battery. When it's fully charged, all four LEDs will be lit up. But if it drops down to just one flashing LED, it's time to recharge. Now, one of the main functions of the CS3 is to get your vehicle started when your battery is flat. Simply connect the DC clamp cable to the charge output port on the CS3. The red clamp to your battery's positive terminal and the black clamp to the negative terminal, or according to the vehicle manual's recommended charge points. Switch the unit on and watch the main display. When the unit switched on, all the LEDs will pulse a couple of times, followed by a single scroll around the dial. If the number 2 and number 8 LEDs are red, that could mean that your vehicle battery is faulty or that its voltage is higher than 15 volts. If everything is okay, the CS3's adaptive boost function will automatically check the state of your battery and work out the right amount of power it needs to get you started. While it's doing this, the start LED will pulse continuously until your battery has enough power to start and then it will stay lit up when everything is ready. This will take up to about 15 minutes. Then just disconnect it all and away you go. When you have had to use your CS3 to start your vehicle, it's a good idea to fully charge the internal battery the next time you're close to a power outlet. Of course, the CS3 is also a regular smart battery charger and maintainer as well. The only difference is that you can still use it even if you don't have access to a power outlet. So, connect it up to your battery as before, red clamp to positive and black clamp to negative, or according to vehicle manual. The LED display will count down how much time is left before your vehicle battery is fully charged. And all the LEDs will start pulsing when it's done. If the CS3 is connected to a power source, it will always make charging your vehicle battery the priority and when your battery is fully charged, the unit will automatically switch to charging its own internal battery. When your battery is fully charged, the CS3 can still be used for top-up and maintenance charging for long periods of time, even without being connected to a power source. So, if you want to maintain your battery, you can safely leave the CS3 connected and the LEDs will carry on pulsing, but just keep checking back every now and then. Well, that's how you use your CS3 to get your vehicle started and your battery fully charged and maintained. Thank you for watching.